Jason. We did it. <laughs> we, we we did. We okay. Did it. So first of all, let me run down the list. <laughs> Shut up about backing into the playoffs. Shut up about expanding the playoffs. Shut up about my manager not knowing how to manage and do the lineup. Shut up about positions. Shut up about playing the young players. Shut the fuck up about <laughs> Bryce Harper's paycheck. Okay, worth every, every single seven. penny. Let's. Go for real. Like, I don't want to hear none of it. It is red October. It is Bryce October. We are on fire. We're going to the World Series. And also, shut up to the Kobe Bryant sycophants and say, job ain't done. Job ain't finished. I don't know why they celebrate at each and every round. Because it's an achievement. And sometimes you want to celebrate, okay? It's just fun. It's look, just fun. <laughs> look, hey, when I go out on a hot date with a supermodel, I celebrate, all right? I when, I get to, what you, what? when I get to be my girlfriend, oh, I okay. celebrate, okay? <laughs> and when I get to marry her, I might one day celebrate. I'm going to take each and every <laughs> opportunity to pop this champagne, and that's what we did. It is Red October. How are you doing, sir? I am drunk, <laughs> and I am excited. <laughs> oh, God. It is so good. You know, I'm going to turn on light, but I'm going to still keep it red in this piece because it is Bryce October. Don't worry. My face will be so it, red. It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, hey, look. I'm just happy. I watched the games, most of them with my daughter, and she was into it. Again, the last time we are in the playoffs and got bounced out, she was too young to understand why I'm yelling. Right. But right now, you know, I'm just out of control. I just, I can't even explain how happy I was when that last, when Nola popped up, by the way, first off, the Nola family, that's got to suck a little bit to be super <laughs> excited for one son and the other son is the final out of the series. And we usually watch that so much in like, uh, I feel like basketball a lot yeah. with a lot of brothers and football a lot with a lot of brothers. Yes. You don't see it that much in baseball, to Not be no, honest. No. Right. Um, and in that moment, I could tell you that I forgot 99% of the time that he was his brother. <laughs> I forgot like yeah. over and over and over again how much that this guy was his brother. I just forgot. I didn't know. Um, so, so many things to talk about. So many things. Hey, we're going to the World Series. We're going to the World Series. We're going. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. Let me. We're like, going oh, to the, the world. We're going to the World Series. Series. And uh, <laughs> look, what, what, what do you got to say about that, Bryce? Let me get over here. My mouth. Don't pay me no mind. Oh, geez. Here it goes. Oh. We got four more. We're going to bring this shit home, boys. Let's go. MVP. MVP. We got four more. <laughs> yeah. This dude, I mean, again, let's just talk, talk about Bryce first. This is LeBron James and whatever, because everybody yeah. always calls him the baseball LeBron James. He's the phenom. 12 years old, 10 years old, 15 years old, on cover magazines, okay. hanging out with the big leaguers. Big Poppy. <laughs> First Philly's of all, Philly's own Big Poppy. Philly's <laughs> own Big Poppy. <laughs> First of all, uh, I love nothing more than the uh, Saturday Night Live when they d make fun of him. Big Poppy, big Dominican lunch, <laughs> and he just eats food all the time. Big Poppy, big Poppy, big snacks. But this Big Poppy is hilarious. He has no value. I call him like Chuck. Yes. He, he is the Charles Barkley of baseball. He's, he's trying showed, to be. He, oh, he's trying to be. Oh, he's doing it. He when he was wearing uh, Iverson jersey, he wore a uh, uh, Reggie White jersey. Uh, who else? He wore somebody else. Dawkins. 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 Yeah, and, 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 and B. Dawkins <laughs> was in the house. Ryan Howard was in the house tonight. Uh, it is just great and amazing, and everything is right. But uh, back to uh, Harper. Why do teams pitch to Bryce Harper? Why did they pitch to Bryce Harper? <laughs> With a right-handed pitcher. And again, when you sit there and you're like, people, you know, local, we talk about the media, like, because the media's got a hard job, our local radio, because I call all the time. They, there's guys that are just the negative guys and don't like anything, complain about everything. You know, the lineup, they should do this and that with the lineup. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? He made, what do you mean? Secondly, oh, sure, we're not starting off. Well, he's getting walked. They're, they're wasting him getting walked. They're walking him. It don't matter where he's at in the lineup. They're going to walk him. They're scared of him. Yes, they are. And that's part of the reason why you don't walk Bryce. Because you're like, I don't let this dude walk oh, and go through. I'm walking Bryce to get to Castellanos, the easy out. <sighs> I would do it every single time until Castellanos burns me. I, and if he did burn me, I'm like, okay, that happened. I don't know what they're doing. Thank you, Bob Melvin, for not listening to that advice. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Look at that. There guy. it is. Look at that guy. I'll tell you a horrible thing. As a father of a daughter, you have a son. You, you said we have a daughter. I have a stepdaughter. Yeah, yeah you do have a stepdaughter. But 
uh, I'm watching the game with Leah and her friend was over. Okay. And Bryce is up to bat. And here I am waiting on MV3. And my daughter says to me, that guy's got a nice butt. Like, no. And I'm like, <laughs> no. that is not what I need to be worried about. She's like, no, no, for that's a nice butt. And it's not the gloves. It's not just the gloves. And I'm like, and I've been on record saying he is a handsome man. Okay. Man, yeah, I got a beard. He sells beard products. I know what it's like to have luxurious hair on my face. Great. So I know he's a great looking man, but I'm like, I don't want to hear it. Then Juan Soto comes up and gets hit. And they're like, look at this butt meat jiggling. And I'm like, look, look y'all ain't going to ruin my playoff experience. After turn looking this at game these off. Butts. I, yeah, I will turn this car around. I don't want no parts of it. But. It's so good. And I didn't even care because that's my MVP. Uh, he is on fire. I, again, I'm not, I don't even care about stats when we're talking about this right now. Nah. But he's on fire. He is going to have a good line in history looking back at this playoff run. He's going to have a great career in history already. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two uh, MVPs, yeah, yeah, now yeah. league champion, uh, NLCS MVP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Soon to be World Series MVP. And the, the numbers for this playoff run are outstanding. Uh, 10 hits. I, I just, I know what it is, but I don't want to butcher it. I want people to comment at me. He crushed it. He's been <laughs> killing it right now. And it's just so nice when a guy who has been touted as a prodigy, blah, 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 when the Nationals let him go and then they won the, World Series next year. He took the blame. He took the blame. They clowned him. They made fun of him. They're like, oh, see, because he's he's not a leader. He's not a winner. We did it without him. And if he wouldn't have been here, you know, it wouldn't have mattered. probably true at that point that he was not a leader at that point. He was also like 26, 27. I, I, you know, I will. Maybe. I will agree with that to the point of, well, I'm going to do it. I'm messing up. I've been, I'm not drinking either, but I'm just not right I was right drinking. Now. Um. Ooh. <laughs> yes, at the age and at the time, no, he wasn't. But at the same time, that's a lot of pressure to put on one person. Absolutely. And you took the money that you didn't spend on Bryce and you went out and paid a lot of guys yes. and a lot of short term guys that didn't turn out for you. And then you ended up releasing a lot of guys that you should have paid. Soto. Yeah, now they're a mess. Yeah. Rendon. Rendon. Scherzer. Like, so screw you. We, screw you. Screw you. <laughs> we got MV3. He is worth everything. He's he's living up to his hype on this run that he will continue to carry. And I'm just so happy that we have Bryce Harper. I'm just so happy we have Bryce Harper. And, you know, I think being the DH this year has helped him a lot, by the way, to save his energy his, for that type of event. His energy, he's fresher. Um, he's more focused. And he's got that. And again, put that pressure on you. You've got to have more pressure on your own mindset to know that, hey, I've got to come in here and perform. Because this is the only thing I'm doing. Did you hear him in the uh, after the home run, the interview with Ken Rosenthal? Yes. Rosenthal, excuse me. When he said, he, you know, he took that one pitch and he's like, I knew the next pitch was going to be a fastball away. Yeah. He's like, I'm on that. Yeah. And uh, first of all, I hate those little interviews. They're the worst. Ken Rosenthal asked the most inane questions ever. How and did he, you feel after hitting that home run that took the lead in the eighth <laughs> inning? Of, he's like, good. Uh, and, uh, and, all, <laughs> and again, if I had that job, I'd be crushing at that job. I'd be uh, like. Just ask better questions. I'm like. I'm like, uh, how about that celebration? It feel good. Yeah. What were you thinking? Bat flip, smash <laughs> right, yeah, there. Like, what was going on? Right. He's like, like he's like, wait, my question would be, when you stepped over that plate, did the crowd level go to your head? Right. Like, like did it turn up a notch? Because it no. does. Like the dumb things, not the how does that feel to hit a home yeah. run when you six you're... to midnight. That's yeah. all I'm talking about. That's yeah. what happened. Yes. Like, oh god, look at this. Look at the crowd. Okay, so we're off Bryce now because we love Bryce. Bryce is great. The crowd in Philadelphia, before we even talk about the players again, home field advantage means everything. I think that Phillies, Citizens Bank Ballpark, in Philadelphia, the fans, is the best home field advantage in all of sports. I think that in the playoffs, yes, in, the, in, in, any, in any postseason, I think that the Phillies and the Eagles are tied. I think it gets louder actually for the Phillies. <sighs> Crazy enough, I think it gets louder for the Phillies. I might attribute that to the way the stadium is built. Maybe, but because there's just... more people at an Eagles game. Yeah. And I I this is the dumbest thing to tell you how it sounds. But uh with my surround sound, I hear people in the stands. Like sometimes I even hear people's conversations. Mm -hmm. Like because the way the mics are, they're just set up. Like I feel like somebody's talking to my ear. <laughs> um I've been at Eagles playoff games. It's loud. And it and it's loud. And I, I don't know uh 
I, I'm, a, I'm gonna call it a tie. I'm saying right. tie goes to the runner because they're the same fans. Shit, half these guys got Eagles jerseys on underneath their shirts. By the way, I hate that. Vice versa. I hate that. Uh, Why are you wearing an Eagles jersey? Hey, because we represent <laughs> Philadelphia. We represent Philadelphia, yeah. and some people can't afford all the gear. Okay, maybe all <laughs> I could afford was an authentic Dawkins jersey. Damn it! And I'm gonna wear it to every Philadelphia event. I was younger. There was a time when I, I didn't have a Phillies, and I'm, I'm fat too. I, there's a couple times I couldn't squeeze myself into something Phillies. I've been a few Phillies games with, with some Eagles going on. You should shut up, you fat shaman. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing. Look, Philadelphia you, is great. I was at the Phillies Brewers game when Victorino hit the grand slam off Sabathia. Yeah. And I yelled for so long, I almost passed out. Oh. <laughs> Because I that, forgot that you have to also yeah, breathe in. You, you have to breathe. take oxygen the other way. You have to breathe. Like uh, when I finally stopped yelling, I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like what happened? Like, I'm just <laughs> uh, and this guy uh, from Top Gun, I forget his name. Miles Tiller. Miles Tiller. He was going crazy with the Fanatic. Jason I, Kelsey coming out. Jason up Kelsey. here with the Fanatic. It, it's life is good here when good you're winning. And I'm so happy that we got to show it because in the summer, I couldn't get Leah to go to a game with me. It was too hot. She's like, I just don't want to go. It's too hot. That's true, by the way. And it is true. It's and, gross. And not for nothing, we were in the middle of our low streak where we weren't winning. Yeah, so what's now, the when point? we came out when 14, I mean, uh, 14 of like 20 or whatever, yeah, 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 let's go see a game. Then when you get in a drudge, you're like, you don't know, last four to last five, and you're like, well, why am I going to go this week because you're home? Yeah. It doesn't, you don't want to do it, especially in the heat. It really felt like every time this year they had a little burst of momentum, the next game they would get blown out or something bad would happen. You're like, ah, I knew it. And and they had so many games against like bad teams that they were killing. Yes. That it made you feel like, well, they're not going to be anybody that good that matters. So okay, let's roll into that. Let's but roll just into get the, in let's, to the playoffs. I'm going to call out somebody on the radio, Joe DeCamera, who just hates the fact that the playoffs were expanded and we're going to get in there and get embarrassed and who wants to be there. And it's for gazing. I don't not feel real, embarrassed. And that's not baseball. <laughs> and I hate to change the baseball. All these grandpas need to shut the funk up. I know I've already cussed. I've already blown That's up right, on YouTube. It, but, yes. uh, just shut up. Guess what? I don't make the rules. Right. Okay? I don't make the fucking schedule. Oh, you play who you play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. See? Because I, I don't make the rules. I don't make the schedule. You play who you play. The Eagles are only 6-0 because of good. Guess what? I know that the Buffalo Bills are probably the best team in the NFL, but I ain't in the fucking AFC. I don't care. Right. We're one of the best teams in the NFC. Well, my favorite is every time to the Eagles. Every time they beat someone, it was like, look at the records of the team they beat. Like, hey, one of their losses is us. To the Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. The Vikings would be undefeated. Exactly. So, <laughs> again, uh, but uh, again, the fans here are the best fans in America. I'm putting y'all at a tie with the Philadelphia Eagles because I expect. Fans. I no, I because I'm, I'm making this statement so I can come back and say how correct I am because I'm making the statement saying that we are going to be the leaders of the NFC and have home field advantage throughout the playoffs Thanks. with a bye. So I need I need the crowd to be exactly the same. <laughs> I need it to be a tie. It will be a tie. It is a tie. We are the greatest. And we travel coast to coast, Key West to Key Largo. Look up on the map. I don't know if it's really the same thing, but you know what I'm saying. We travel everywhere. By the way, the best part about the uh, NFC for the Eagles is everyone else sucks. The Bucks lost today. Green Bay, they <laughs> lost today. The Giants, they won again somehow. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand that. So, do we talk about Reese yet? Reese? Reese. Reese? Reese. 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 Big, big bat Reese. Big bat. Can't catch Bomb, a bomb ball. Hoskins. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I love that guy today. So, today, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, shout out to my buddy Ken Pomo. He, he, yeah. he did the thing that a lot of people do. Where all the Reese haters at? I right I'm here. not shying away from yeah. it. I literally just dropped right in. I am yeah. still right here. <laughs> I actually tweeted out right before we posted. I tweeted out, "You are forgiven. Thank you yes. because we needed it." But guess what? It let you drop three more easy balls and screw me over. I'll be right back on it because again, the reason people are so on him when he came into the league, he was impressive, very impressive. Then he got into this analytical BS of taking the most pitches of any other batter Messing ever. Up. And I'm like, okay, well, you're not hitting the ball anymore. You're just taking these pitches and you go down looking at everything. It's just right. like a, a kid in a freaking middle school. You're like, yo, swing at it. You, you can't hit it if you don't swing. So for him to come back, hit these timely home runs. And there are bombs when he hits oh, them too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good. the explosion. <laughs> he went from Hulk smash celebration to the 
That's flip my favorite swirl celebration of all thing. time, by the way. Uh, the spike. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Bad yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Unless you do the super high bath. Yeah. Yeah. And then he went and he went to the to the to the half Jordan nonchalant where he flipped it out and <laughs> did the thing. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jalen Hurts. Yeah. 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 The, the Jalen Hurts. That is the Jalen. He's stealing it. He is stealing it. He is stealing it. So. Shout out to him. He gets everything he deserves, the boos and the cheers. And right now he deserves these cheers. He himself, if it wasn't for Bryce just averagely being on fire all the time, he would have been the MVP. He would have been the MVP. Yeah, he would have been, been the MVP him or Wheeler series. and probably Hoskins. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in my heart, they're all MVPs. <laughs> in my heart, they're all MVPs. Except I for Cassiano's. Oh, <laughs> don't think we don't know the song. I can't play it because they'll take it down off of YouTube if I play Copyright. it. Copyright. But you know <laughs> what it is, and it is just amazing. It is just amazing. Look right. at this guy. Let's go. Look at this guy. Let's go. Everything. Oh, shoot. Look, he's like, it's all I ever wanted. It's all I ever needed. Say, yeah. See, look at him. Skip the Malou. <laughs> Skip the Malou. Ah, la, 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 that was a good go. one. The back yes. flight was better, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are in the zone. The crowd is rocking. Three straight at home in Philadelphia. Again, changing, <clears throat> not changing because we know better, shutting down the Santa Claus snowball narrative it should be gone by now it, sh- it won't be but it, it won't be. be but it should be because national media everybody coming on is talking about the zoo the crowd but look at the positivity well you see what they're already posting the national media right what? like oh they have to grease the polls again because the philly fans like hey you're yeah, damn right you're damn right you got <laughs> that right. hey guess what the rain's gonna <laughs> I'm, wash it away i'm a, I'm, a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one thing maybe the rest of the national media doesn't know because they got to stick up their ass. Maybe if you lubed it, it might feel a little better. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, we grease our poles up around here because we like pleasure, and that's how we going to get it done at the parade. I don't want to hear nothing about grease. Yes, it, uh, it is just a different animal coming here for people that not only are fans. So let me just tell you why I know the Philadelphia fans are the best fans. They will boo you. For 32 seconds and then shut up, wait for the next moment. Yep. You make a positive play. Cheers. Rock What's us up? again. Let's go. Rock us again. <laughs> we were down in the first inning and it was insane. It was the quietest I heard it on a TV game. That like it was quieter than it's about yesterday. Yeah. Yes. It was quieter than like three people <laughs> being in, in the building. And then right as soon as we got back up there, we got them hits, we got back on board, we scored a couple. It was on. That was like today after all the rain happened whenever the Phillies pitched and then stopped every time the Padres had to pitch. It was. And Sir Anthony had the issues with the wild pitches <sighs> due to not being able to grip the ball when the game should have been paused for a little, maybe like 30 minutes there, a little yeah. break there. It, I, I, I the get, crowd was so quiet. I guess the weatherman must have been on their side because every time they were pitching, it slowed. It was insane. Every time we pitched, it was it was on again. Like you could physically see it. See it. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I, I'm not, and at the same time, like, don't stop this game. I need this game to keep going because I don't want anything else getting extended or pushed back because at right. that time, Wheeler was still wheeling. Yes. And, uh, you know, it, it just it, it just worked out. It was great. I I am just so elated. Um, I'm still stunned. I'm just stunned right now. I'm so happy, but it's like I cannot believe this happened. So uh, – Leo's like, oh, can we go to a playoff game? And then I was like, no, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, because I think we're going to the World Series, and I can't afford to do both, and we're only going to be getting standing room tickets anyway. I don't know how I'm supposed to afford World Series tickets, Super Bowl tickets, and WrestleMania tickets at this point, yeah. all in Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. like, look, man, hey, hey. I suggest go fund me. I don't know. I suggest you open up a credit card and never pay that bitch back. Oh, you're gonna say only pants. Oh, oh, well, I I can do. Hey, look. I just I just want to go to everything, but uh, it's expensive. Yeah, like I said, I was like, I just wanted the other, and uh, I don't know. I tell you, it it's just. I keep dancing on my own. They be playing it. They be singing that they don't lead. I keep thinking about World Series. I'm like, should I? Should I do this? Well, again, I was just thinking to myself, like, just give me standing room tickets to some get me get in the That's building. That's all you're gonna be able to get. Yeah, it's get in the building. Be... It's gonna be crazy. And uh, I heard a caller today talk about he went to Xfinity Live just to watch the game. Probably fun there. And he found a couple outside. A couple found him. Was like, oh, you want to go to the game? We got an extra ticket. 
yep. and they gave him a ticket to the game yesterday. That doesn't happen to me. That's Philadelphia, though. Yeah. That's Philadelphia. Best I had was one time at a concert. Someone asked if I wanted to upgrade my tickets, and I was like, you're a stranger. I'm lost. Yeah. And that was all I had. I didn't answer. Well, I mean, lost the opportunity. Choked. Luckily for me, it happens all the time. I, you know, oh, I get upgraded yeah. seats Jock. and tickets and <laughs> all that jazz. So, you know, it's just it's just my jam to do. Listen to that crowd. Yep. <laughs> this is the last out to go to the World Series. Because they know the moment. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Like, that is a succinct volume decibel check for, like, okay, routine. Yep. He's got it, but he's got to get it. <laughs> got to get it. As soon as he gets it. Click. I love all the videos from outside Citizens Bank Park right now from people outside in the city just recording the volume just oh, so far away. Man, a, a mile away, you hear you hear 60,000 or 40,000 people singing, and it's just almost clear, like on a clear night. And I'm like, man, again, I don't know another city that'd be rocking like did Philadelphia hear, be rocking. By the way, the coach after the game talking about Ranger Suarez, why they picked him to come out of the bullpen. No, what did he say? Said he was like, well, we've done studies with him. His resting heart rate is like 62 or something like that. 62. Yeah, 62. I did hear like, that. So he doesn't get nervous at anything. I was like, man, I was watching the game at home. My heart rate was much higher than that. Man. I'm also I, out of shape, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, so maybe I, I'm part of it. My but. resting heart rate when I sleep is 66. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, was I, was like, I was like, yeah, I got this thing right here. Let me check my heart rate. My rest heart I tell you right now on this app right now, my rest heart rate when I'm sleeping. More, you know I mean? I'm, than that. I'm more stressed out of my dreams than this man <laughs> <laughs> playing in the NFC. Yeah, you get the so, last to go to the yeah, You know what he's I'm like, saying? So, yeah, he's like, I got you, my dude. No <laughs> worries. Yeah, left center field. Back it goes. Harper, the swing of his life. What a great call. Oh, the swing of his life. It's one in the air, left center field, back it goes, Harper, the swing of his life. I did like Harper uh, yesterday when he hit that double and he let everyone know whose uh, house it was. It's my mother house. <laughs> this welcome to my house. God, uh, I, he's just so on fire right now. He, again, living up. To, to every his, expectation. To every it's almost expectation. impossible to do. It's only like four <laughs> or five players in any sport do that. And again, for non-Phillies fans who are just crying about how great other players are and have been in the playoffs, that's fine. This is his first postseason appearance, and he in a isn't long time, right. They didn't. He. I think he made one before that. Yes. He didn't yes. Do well. Yes. So this is his first one where he's won a series advance. Yes. So the pressure mounts as you go. Right. Now he's responding. So. One round win, first win, second round win, like he's progressing yes. with the pressure and still continuing to raise expectations to raise every time his play every single time. He's meeting the pressure and kicking the door in. I look when he makes an out in an at bat, I'm like, what happened? Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, other guys get paid to play too. Yeah, yeah. Like I forget that, you know, sometimes. <laughs> The other guys get paid to play, but I who, who else we talked about? Do we talk about J, oh JT missing those balls in the rain? Something he never does. Never. Still Bell with a base hit to right field. The Padres have tied the game in the seventh. The oh, Padres in the second. That pissed me off. But up the middle, oh. off Wheeler, back to Rio Muto, one two. He took that like a champ, first of all. He is dominant, by the way. Yes, he's dominant. I, I, you know, I, I know, I know his baseball. I'd be calling him 18 wheeler because he was trucking <laughs> fools, bro. <laughs> he was out here mowing people down with no remorse. He, was, he had Machado and Soto, <laughs> except for one pitch, so confused. Every at bat, they were just guessing and guessing wrong. And, and so, Soto got him once. And so that's the thing that, like, the uh, I forget what the pitcher's name is for uh, the Padres, but they were on his meat about today. He's got 12 Darvish? different, yeah, yeah, he's got 12 different kind of pitches. Yes. He can do whatever he wants to do. I'm like, yo, I don't know how many pitches Wheeler got, right. but they don't know what's going and on. They don't know which one's coming, like, next. they don't know what's going on. And right. again, the whole it, it kept coming up as 
well, if you give them the same pitch, they're going to see you the second, third yeah. time around. Right. Okay, well, I've seen them three times around now, and they, and they still have no idea <laughs> yeah. what's going on. I was like, so I, obviously not. And again, if not for nothing, if it wasn't for luck and poor Weather. defense, yeah. they wouldn't score anything. No, they wouldn't have been on the board today. You know, if it wasn't pouring Just down rain, but, like I said, like Ramuto does not miss those balls. No, let alone three of them. Th- let alone three. One of them, like, ah, yeah. three, I'm like, well, that's when people who are online starting to tweet are like, well, fix is in. <laughs> the internet, the MLB is. I was like, the MLB like, is. Slide over and block the ball, man. I know. But I know it's not as, easy, by the way. But as we talked about, yes, the way his stance is, yes. his stance doesn't allow for that because the stance allows him for a quick reaction for right. throwdowns. That's, That's why good. no one steals on him. Yeah. Because you're good luck with that. <laughs> oh, you cannot steal on him. You his can't steal him. Too much. You're yeah, not and, and that's why he's, his stance is that way. But at the same time, as you're saying, when someone throws 101 miles an hour at you and you're in that stance in the rain, well, the you're not going to be able to. going to that pitch was what had me most confused. I'm like, the fastball he had, I would have went fastball away, maybe. Yeah. Especially the um, today, like the breaking ball up high. He mm-hmm. called that strike at least 25 times today. Yeah, I'm I, guessing on that number, I lied. Yeah, it, I mean, it sounded good to me. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, again, it today is a great day for Philadelphia. It's an amazing day. And um, I'm, we're Eagles still the, undefeated. Eagles are still undefeated. Not only are the Eagles undefeated, the Cowboys came in and kind of looked like trash against the Lions. Yeah. Uh, they 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 the Flyers eked out. Going to, yeah, Flyers got four Union. and one. The Union. That's so all the teams we need to talk about. So no, <laughs> again, we're we're flying high and I just know, I don't want to be negative. Today. No, 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 no. We're going to end negative because this is negative definitely, yeah. and we are still here for the real ish. You know what I mean? We ain't going to shy away from it. Everyone is great except for the seventy sixers. A lot of issues there right now. A lot of issues. Issue number one. I told everyone from day one I will pull receipts. Glenn Rivers ain't one shit. KG is not coming through this door to save him in his career. He is the losingest coach in the NBA history. More 312181916132 leads blown by this man than anyone else. He makes no adjustments. He doesn't like young players. If Maxi wasn't the darling of the league, he wouldn't play, he wouldn't play him right he now. Play. But he has no choice because we would burn him at the stake He's if that Joe kid Girardi. got to sit down. Oh, he is He's definitely. Joe Girardi. Joe Girardi. Bryson Stott never played under Girardi. They kept playing D.D. Gregorius and said over him. Insanity and embarrassing. The 76ers are 0-3. And somebody says to me, Aaron, they came out the gate playing the Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, bitch, we're supposed to be the top three, two, four of the Eastern Conference. Yeah. So you could at least got me one of those. And then you turn around and lose to Brett Clown and Popovich with dudes on the team. Like, they don't I don't even, even know who win. they are. The Spurs want to lose, actively trying to lose. Because women, yeah, I'm a- I know. <laughs> but you come out here and you lose to Brett Clown. I know. And you also Embiid, maybe. You went to the Eagles game. You're so engaged by it. The Phillies game, so engaged by it. On the court, not so much. On the court, you're moping. You don't get to sad. do that. Then you'll be you're, sad later in the year when they don't vote for your MVP. And he's not. He's never going to win MVP. He's never winning MVP. He's never winning. Joel Embiid is never winning the MVP of the league. Last ever. year was his chance. Last year was his only I shot. Thought this year he would have had a chance. No, but nope. He is never going to win an MVP of the league. He mopes. He cries. He cried on national television like a bitch. Yeah. And yeah, I said it. I'm not an athlete, but fuck it. He right. cried like a bitch. But it's then, cool. We got PJ Tucker. He's tough. Then he has a child, <laughs> and he says. I don't want my son to see me crying and right. flopping and things like that. I want him to see nothing's his dad. changed though. But so nothing's changed. Then you still come out to end the uh, season pressers and blame other people. Yep. You blame Ben. You blame Glenn. You blame uh, uh, Harden. And Harden comes out here looking like Harden. Hey, somebody in the offseason got back in shape and came back out here and give me 31 points, uh, 31, 33, 31. Guess what? That's Houston James Harden, but I don't fucking want that Harden. I still hate Houston James Harden. I hate this Houston roster, wannabe Houston roster that the Sixers assembled. Everything about it, I and, hate. Yep, They're and, not even fun to watch. And when I said it, I was a hater to people. Like, oh, yeah. It's like, right. look, no. This dude, somebody, again, who's yeah. got the time to do stats. Yeah. In game two, when he had his 35 points or whatever, mm-hmm. he dribbled the ball 531 it's times. Boring to watch. He dribbled the ball 531 yeah. times. Well, that's why Embiid shuts down, too, because do, do he's you know, not getting the ball. Do you know why that's more astounding? Uh, no. Why? He dribbled 
than the rest of the entire team combined. That's fun. Yeah, we don't get in Maxi the ball. We don't get Embiid the ball. We want to play Thibault to develop him even, you know, and hope that he becomes the guy we want him and, to be. And in the Bucks game, um, yeah, the Bucks game, when Embiid was on the bench, that's when they made the run and came back. Yeah. Thanks to, thanks to Maxi, But then you have to bring him B back in. The team slows down. And now all of a sudden he had an off-season injury, yeah. surgery coming up. I'm like, mm-hmm. stop with the excuses. Glenn Rivers is trash. I actually don't think they get out of the first round this year. I hope that they don't get out of the first round this year. I want Glenn Unless there's fired. a Well, he's not making it to Thanksgiving. You don't think he's making it to Thanksgiving? Uh, he might not make it to the rest of the week. I, with the expectations that team has and how they're playing. They're, Maury is dying to hire D'Antoni. Dying to do it. I would rather Sam Cassell get the job. I want Sam Cassell to get the job. They're going to give it to Dan Tony if it's this early in the season. Okay. Well, and that's not a winning move. Well, any uh, get me get Glenn out of here. So the 76ers are the bane of our Philadelphia existence right now. All they the good mojo right are now. Trash. They, just, they keep trying to suck it out. Because they work. just suck. We don't have a leader. We don't right. have a we don't have a Harper. You know what I mean? Like at least Jalen, if you want to talk about his intangibles and his rah-rah and stuff, you don't even like that. But guess what? He's a leader. He's a leader. Yep. Guys like him. And you know what I mean? He's not a leader yet. He it, still has not become that leader. No. Um, so one last thing just to get back on it. We're going to the World Series. <laughs> Positivity. <laughs> We're going back to the World Series. Uh, I, it, again, all the stars come out. Dawkins was there today. Howard was there. And uh, just hearing our new extended manager say, all they've ever talked about was if you give them something to show up for, they show That's all up. You gotta do. And they showed up. It's <laughs> not like you lied. Reason. It's not like they lied to you. It's not like they said, Oh, this town never gets behind their team and stuff like that. Like again, when you look out of sin, uh the Padres, that's what's in. What, what? Half the stadium <laughs> wasn't there. What were those guys doing? Yo, the, I, you know. By the no, way, Yankees fans can't even sell out. Game no, four. So for, for, <laughs> first of all, no offense to white people. Those are the <laughs> loserous white dudes. That is the loserous chant ever. That's what's in. Oh, my God. I I physically cringed in my heart for I white cringed. males yeah. over 45. Like, I stopped seasoning my chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to. Like, that's it. I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't. Even do it. Matter, matter of fact, you need to reseason your chicken after watching that. You got an extra. Yeah. See, I'm I'm gonna come over and preseason your chicken for you from now on. That's gonna be a service I'm giving out for any white person that had to hear. That's what's in the goose is loose and Philly's going back back. I'm like, who are these dudes? And why are they on national television? I watched that video and above my head it was like negative five seasoning. Like, oh, <laughs> it was, damn it! It's terrible. Like, <laughs> and to end with your point on the Yankees. It was $211 uh, three days ago to go to the game, the cheapest ticket. Now, drop down to 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 10 bucks. And Do you think the Phillies beat the Astros? I'm going to say yes. You have to say yes. You're damn right. So, for, and for two <laughs> other reasons, I haven't watched more than three Astros games <laughs> this year. So, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, they're right. dog Sorry. shit and they're lucky to be here and they're Sorry. lucky they play the Yankees who love to choke things away at the end of the season. Uh, uh, I'm a doctor on Twitter. That's uh, <laughs> IQMZ Sports on Twitter. And, you know, we're out World here series. talking about these things and we're in the World Series. Uh, follow us on Facebook, the YouTube. Like it. Share it. Do something with yourself. What's it? So excited. I can't. I don't so even excited. I'm just like oh my god, you're like, Owen, why are you yelling? Oh, you can like shut the up. Like we're, we're doing it big. Oh my god.